Hi, I'm Senator Jim Castama from the 25th District, which was Puyallup in Eastern Pierce County. Can you remember when the big three were the leading car companies, not just in America, but the world? I can. I can remember when the Japanese imitated our TVs and radios, and when our kitchen appliances were the envy of the world, and when we led the way in everything from manned space to supercomputers. Well, folks, those days are gone. Where we used to have imitators, now we have genuine competitors, and many of them are winning. Today, the top-selling cars come from Japan, not America. The leading cell phone maker is Sony Ericsson. People work on laptops built in China, not by IBM in the United States. None of that is going to change unless we change. Gone are the days when a company could come up with a great product and then sit back and reap the benefits. Try that today, and your market will be gobbled up by someone who comes up with a better product almost overnight. It's that competitive. The challenge before us is simple. We can roll up our sleeves and compete, or else watch our jobs and our industries go to other countries. The key isn't simply working harder. It's changing the way we work. The leaders of the modern market will be the best innovators, the best problem solvers. The old adage about building a better mousetrap still applies, only more so. The competition is tougher than ever. For much of our history, that wasn't a problem. Early on, our country grew and prospered faster than any other, thanks to our abundant natural resources. The factories we mobilized for World War II later helped us prosper while other countries were still rebuilding. Our space program brought technological breakthroughs as sophisticated as microcircuits and as ubiquitous as Velcro. In Silicon Valley, we created computer chips faster and smaller than anyone thought possible. And each time, however, our competitors narrowed the gap faster. Today, we're on equal footing in a number of key areas we're losing ground. But that's not to say we can't change course. We still possess a critical advantage, the ability to innovate, to be creative, but only if we exploit it. In our history and our blood, we are a country of innovators. We are a nation of immigrants, a high-octane blend of the best minds and the richest cultures in the world. Ours is a land of opportunity, invention, and ambition. The key is to put those minds to work. The phrase, this is the way we've always done it, should have been replaced a long time ago with, how can we do it better? We not only can do better, we must do better if we want to compete. We must find better and new ways to do things, and we must create work environments in which our best talent can flourish. A top-down workplace where rules dominate and creativity is discouraged is a recipe for extinction. We must encourage and reward a new and improved manner. As managers, we must stoke it. As employees, we must bring it. And as a society, we must live it. We must accept that our world will change, and we must anticipate it. We should expect to retrain for new jobs, and we should come to work every day with a mindset that asks, what can I do today that improves on what I did yesterday? Our schools, too, need to reflect these priorities. We must champion excellence and train students for high-skilled specialties in demand today and in the future. Only by anticipating workplace needs can we really maintain a thriving workforce. The old rules no longer apply. And that's why they're called the old rules. We need to follow the new rules. We need to write the new rules. And before the ink is dry, we should start brainstorming newer ones. If we do this, we will excel, and we will compete, and we will thrive. And success will be the foundation of our future, instead the memory of our past. Thanks for watching today. Again, I'm Senator Jim Castama from the 25th District. Thank you.